Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, I just wanted to hop on and share with you. Um, oh wait, let me turn this fan off. Okay, there we go. Um, I've got the air purifier running, fan running, um, because it's that weather, you know, where it's like 60 degrees, so it's too cold, too cool for the AC, but the sun is bright and there's bees and wasps and ladybugs flying all over the place. So with that being said, I just went ahead and just, you know, I have my windows closed. Now, once it gets dark outside and it gets the temperature gets down to like 50, oh yeah, windows back up again. So, anyhow, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys saw Mae Tipton, Black Mountain Plans. I hope y'all saw her her two uploads, um, was it yesterday? The um, scripture plan and Oh, the beautiful deco. Oh my goodness. I was asleep all day yesterday. I don't know what was wrong with me, but I was, I started doing my nails and I finally finished them and I was exhausted and I just, I just crashed and went to sleep again. Gary wanted me to watch a movie with him. He wanted me to um, play battleship with them and again I just fell into this coma like sleep <laughs> so I told y'all I'm sick <laughs> I am sick all right so other than that moving on I'm hanging in there and I hope that you guys are hanging in there too um, I wanted to share with you today some happy mail that I got um, but First, I wanted to show you that I redid, well, added on, um, my Planner Perfect Catch-All Journal. I wanted it to look more like a junk journal, so I added in the snippet right here that wasn't there the last time I showed you guys. I'm pretty sure that these were in here. But I added this, and I added this, and I added this. So now it, I like it better. I, I like it looking more like this. And I don't know if you noticed, but this is lighter than what it was when y'all saw it the last time. If you flip it over to the back, you see how it's dark? But if you just go like this, just take your fingernail and look at that. Some of you probably already know this. I just forgot <laughs> that you can just change the color and make it lighter. And you just keep scraping and scraping until it's the way that you want it to be. Now say you're like, oh, that's too light. You can just lick your finger and wet it and it'll darken up a little bit depending on how much you are scratching it. I like that worn leather look and so that's why I did it to the front and look how the, the embossment how it sticks out so much more now that I took my finger and I scraped it you can use anything to scrape it with you can use scissors you can use anything you can use anything the credit card anything that will scrape it to give it that old vintage worn leather look and then after that you can spray water on it and then rub it in real good that's what I did. So I love how it looks now. I love it, love it. And I added some more keychain, I mean charms. Now there was another charm on here. Oh, here we go. So I put the charm right there and you have a charm right there. So now it looks more like a junk journal. I would love to have more of these. This came with a junk journal that I bought, um, but I donated it. I, I actually gave it to someone. 
and I took the charms off of it and they just took wooden chips and shaped it or it came shaped not sure but this was on eBay I can't find it no more <laughs> can't find it anywhere and she just put stickers on it and punched it and whatever the heck she did but these are definitely homemade ephemera type charms um I probably should have just contacted the lady who made these for the junk journal and asked her would she make some of these for me and I could buy them off of her because I love these they are flat they lay flat um you know and she I just think that is such a great idea I don't have the patience to to make and cut these but I think I might reach out to her and ask her um you know to do that okay so that's what i wanted to share with you on that i'm still working on my book um that i'm gonna do i'm waiting on some waiting on my mail from may <laughs> it's just crazy but that's what i'm doing i'm waiting on that mail to come in um let me see so that i can do that so i did put some dates on here that I got from blah, what do you call it Amber plans her day she was selling sheets on sale and I love days of the week so I just went ahead and did that and um, so we got Monday down here just just to be different you know nothing you know special just just trying to be different so um, I'm gonna put some words here and this is the Tombow. I don't remember what number it was, but I went and bought a set of Tombow that brush tip that, you know, that are that's great for fall. I got the fall colors because I already had the other colors. So um, enough on that. But if you like junk journaling, I highly recommend scrapbooking with me. And I also recommend Miss Jeannie, G-E-N-I. Um, book lover, junk journal book lover. She has some of the some of the best junk journals I've ever seen in my life. Not only is everything sewn, but it's a cloth cover. It's got a lot of pages in it, and it's 100% themed, and it's inked on the edges. And there's so many flip outs and tucks and nicks and this and little you know things you know where you can flip a page one way and then flip it up another way I mean it's like the best one of the best junk journals I've ever seen and she's selling it for three hundred dollars on Etsy um my conscience won't let me pay three hundred dollars for a junk journal so I contacted her and she would sell it to me for two hundred buying it straight from her without Etsy and um it's it's worth it but I just don't feel comfortable paying two hundred dollars for, <laughs> for a junk journal because the use of the junk journal is limited you know I can pay a hundred and eighty dollars for or a hundred and forty dollars for a cover like this because this is something that I'm gonna use every day I can take it with me if I'm going to the courthouse. <laughs> I can I could take this with me and I could write on it, but I'm not going to take that junk journal cuz it is so beautiful. You know, but something like this I I I could take anywhere comfortably. Not that I would cuz this 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 bugger is big, you know. This is a big girl right here. So, anyway, um but she won't be cuz I'm going to I got another book that I'm going to put in and swap, but that's how that is. So I also wanted to share with you guys that I changed my gratitude journal. Um, I got rid of the old ephemera or whatever you want to call it that was on here. I did keep that and I did keep all of the chains and the charms and stuff. Isn't that cute? I, goodness, I love it. So I did keep that, but I put this on. I got this off of eBay. I'm not, excuse me, Amazon. And it's, I just looked up floral um, lace. And that came up. And it's not cheap, 
but it's not expensive, but it's like in between, but you get a lot, but for the price, I would have wanted a little more, but because it, the way it's made, the detail and how beautiful it is, it was definitely worth it. And it's very easy to trim. So I decided, heck, let's make some changes for 2024. Something was on here, but it fell off. Let's see. Yep. Look at that. See right there? Something was right there and it fell off. Um, so let's get rid of that. All right, cool. And yeah, and I love this little anchor because I have the anchor on my tattoo right there that lets I'm anchored in the Lord. And there's the Bible scripture from Isaiah. And I love how all of that ties in. So you've got Isaiah right there. And then you've got your anchor. And then you've got this olive bead rosary that is wrapped around me, but it's also wrapped around Jesus. So Jesus and I are tangled up in this together. Um, yeah, there's a deep story behind this tattoo, but that's me and that's God. That's Jesus. And there's the Holy Spirit right there. And right there is the Father. Um, but yeah, and that's when Granny passed. 1225-96, that's when Granny went home in her sleep. So that's there to honor Granny. But yeah, so that's why I got this thing for anchors. So... I thought I would share that. I thought that looked really cute. A really nice upgrade reset for 2024. So, let's see. I've done all of them. I've revamped all of my Melody planners, my Melody covers, everything. My sticker books. Everything is fresh and new and been revamped and revised for 2024. So, the 2023 look is gone. All right, so I bought some books from a thrift store on eBay, and they had all of these Charles Stanley books and all of these David Jeremiah books, and I noticed that Gary has not been reading his Our Daily Bread, the little Our Daily Bread devotionals. I think he got bored with them, to be honest. Um, so I decided I was going to find something that targets his specific spiritual needs. Um, and I bought some for him. I bought some for me. Um, I'll go show you his, his, I put his on his bed, but this I had for me. This one is called Seeking His Face Daily Devotional, and it is in large print. Of course, I was, that's what made me get it to be, <laughs> to be honest with you. When I saw that it was in large print, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to go along with that. So, um, I'm going to be doing some stuff out of here with you guys. Um, look at this January, a divine encounter with God, February, a divine encounter with emotional healing, March, a divine encounter with forgiveness and um, encounter at the cross. So it goes on and on about an encounter with God. So I love this. I look forward to um, sharing this with you starting fresh for January, though I doubt I will wait until January to do this. But um, this is great. I, I love this absolutely love this um this is great scripture reading key verse you know this is definitely something i am really really impressed with you got a prayer at the end um i just love that it's in large print and i was thinking of even <laughs> putting stickers just some really subtle little florals around the corners and edges. You know, May Tipton has a lot of tiny little florals. And I think that that would just be great to, to decorate this book, um, you know, like that. And I mean, I would love to put a cover over it. I got to 
take measurements and you know things of that nature but i would love to put a cover over this um let's see this is not an a5 this is an a5 but it's got a good fit and i do have an extra cover so i might just put it matter of fact that's what i will do i will put it in my other cover and um and i'll do that i'll look i'll do that that's that would be an excellent idea. I love putting covers over books. All right, so this is the next one I want to share with you guys. This one is called 365 Daily Devotions, Walking with God by David Jeremiah. That was Charles Stanley. This one's David Jeremiah. This is super soft. Well, not super soft, but it's, it's, it's a nice feel of leather. Um, this is a small one this is like the size of the you know the little um our daily bread so let's see let's take a look inside of here oh my that's pretty this is real silky let's see what the first one says let's see attention and then it says trading stress for a song now that reminds me of May's little sticker where she has the guitar and she was, um, it was from Psalms. I like that. Divine Delays. Ah, I'm <laughs> very familiar with that. Life on Purpose. Salty Saints. Greater and Lesser Lights. And this is real silky paper, real silky. And you've got these pretty pictures. No need to decorate this. <laughs> really. No need to decorate this. Though you could. And I love how there's space. Let me see here. Show you. See how there's space down here. Where you could put. One of. Uh, May's fancy boxes. Or one of Mojo. Jojo's fancy boxes right under here and that's where you can write your little message to yourself you know I love that there's space for writing you know and I was also thinking about junk journaling this and what I mean by that is you know tippins I'm I'm gonna put tippins in this I'm gonna really really personalize this book um God, guys, I feel like I want to cry. All of a sudden, it just hit me when I said, I just want to personalize this book. Wow, I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> I might need to take my oxytocin. Um, but yeah, I just feel this strong need to just weep. Um, I love God, y'all. I, I really do. And just thinking about him, and thinking about what he does for me and his divine intervention and everything that he does for me. You know, my cup runneth over just thinking about it. Um, it really does. And, you know, things in our lives where God just doesn't give us the answer that we want and his answer is my grace is sufficient you know and then there, there are just times where it's like yeah my sweetheart and he is my sweetheart there is no heart sweeter than his yes your grace is sufficient of course your grace is sufficient but I'm asking you for extended grace you know and sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no, and sometimes it's wait, and sometimes it's just pure dead silence. God can get so silent that, I mean, <laughs> it's like all you hear is crickets. I mean, it's, it's just dead silence. And you know what? When he gets silent like that, especially on a particular topic, that concerns me because that makes me think like okay 
there's something more I got to do. There's something that he wants. And maybe he wants me to figure it out for myself. Maybe he wants me to pursue it further. Or maybe he just wants me to let it go. You know, but it's, it's something when he gets silent in a particular area. But he can run his mouth in any other area, right? But I love him. And, you know, so I can't help myself. I can't help myself. I can't talk about Jesus too much because I I just lose it. My cup runneth over. Because I've been through too many things with him. And so it's it's like, you know, it, it's like, uh, like I said before, a sailor who's gone off into the sea or a, a soldier that's gone off to war and you have all these wonderful memories with that soldier and you're just waiting for him to return you know and I still haven't shared that poem with you guys that I wrote I'm probably will one day but it's amazing that you can play a video game <laughs> and come up with a poem and dedicated to the Lord so you see, guys, what I'm trying to say is you can find Jesus in almost anything. Anything. How, who do you know plays a, a, a spooky game? Right? And, you know, the, the game was spooky, right? Definitely spooky. It had gore in it. But the story behind the game, you know, about the husband and the wife and the child was a very sad story. And it was a story that is just as real as anybody else's story in a dysfunctional family, you know, and the music is just heartbreaking. And it just, I just thought of Jesus. I just thought of Jesus. And so, you know, that's how it is. I've written many poems to Jesus. I even added to the Psalms, <laughs> you see me? but I was like, Lord, I can't do this literally because you don't want anybody adding or taking away from your word. So this is just between me and you. So, you know, it is what it is, but it's great to have a relationship with Jesus. Uh, so hold on. I'm going to go get the books that I bought for Gary, share them with you, and I'll be right back. So hold on. All right. But yeah, guys, I, 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 that kills me. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, I ain't trying to cry right now. <laughs> All right. But this came from the, a thrift store on eBay. And it's called Daily in His Presence. And I ordered two of these. I ordered one for me and I ordered one for Gary. Um, mine was used, so it was only $8. But Gary's, was, this was brand new, so I paid $15. But Turning Point. Daily in His Presence. And I love this. So pretty. So very pretty. One accord. That glorious day. God of second chances. At what cost? Fuel for the fire. So I love this. This is great. This is great for Gary because this will help him with his daily being in God's presence. So I love this. And like I said, this one was 15 because it was brand new, but the one I got for myself was only eight. Now, this one right here was 15. Whew, Jesus, our perfect home. 365 devotions by Charles Stanley. This is a hardcover book, but it's like a leather feel. It's like an executive book, you know? It's, oh my goodness, it's so classy. Look at the embroidery. Oh, I mean, the embossing on this is just, it's just so beautiful. This is a phenomenal book. And I love this on the back. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing so that you will abound in hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Romans 15, 13. So this is for Gary. 
love this. Absolutely love it. So near. Say, safe arrival. Confess and be free. Wait for guidance. This is exactly what Gary needs. These are topics that, you know, cater to what he struggles with. His workmanship, always. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. That was, oh, that's something that, you know, we've all had to memorize. You know, so these are things that are just great for Gary. I love this. So if, oh my God, profound healing. I mean, this is just books that let us know that, you know, there's nothing we can't do through him. This is great for those who are feeling down or stop hiding. I love that. I love that. There's a lot of people who hide from God because they feel like I sinned. I did wrong. You know, what I love so much about God is I can come to him with blessed assurance, you know, um, coming to him with anything. And that's one thing that Gary struggles with is, um, I love these topics, stability in the chaos, powerful delays, tapping into the power, the power of your life, his mighty hand, good fruit, your defender, what's in your heart. I love these. What a blessing. Oh, I love, 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 love this. Absolutely love this. So, yeah, and I love how you get, let's see, you get, you get this little bookmark. You get this. Obey the spirit. Um, I love blessed assurance. I'm going to read that. Um, so, I love this. Love, love, love it. So, this is definitely on eBay. Check it out. See if it's something that you like. And don't forget to check out May BMP, Black Mountain Plans. Check her out. She's got some new stickers and stuff for scripture writing and faith and so forth. Um, shout out to you, May, if you're watching. Thank you for the video. Thank you for letting me ride shotgun with you. It was so much fun. And I didn't get nauseous. <laughs> So anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate y'all so much. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.